But Gabriel, we have not been seeing you in church, even in our prayer meetings. But Gabriel, I don't know. There is no problem. Wait, what could be that issue? We have not been seeing you in church. What is the problem? What's going on, Bo Gabriel? Have you forgotten that iron sharpness iron? Bo Gabriel, talk to me. What happened? Bo Gabriel, talk to me. What happened? Listen, for your information, I don't have time. I will just spare you a little time. I will just spare you a little. Can you imagine? Just take a look at me. Take a look at me. The homie was suspended. Just a little mistake, just a little, very little mistake. One of the leaders in the prayer team. In fact, the only person who happens to see vision in the, in the ministry. And you, show, you know that is because the vision I saw brought that car that bro Mike is driving and is to make one to drive that so-called pastor. I was suspended. He hold me by the pastor. Suspended. Ah. Suspended? But why? What did you do? This is what happened. Sister Rosley, yes, are you sure this actually happened? Yes, I do. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, Bro Gabriel, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good afternoon. Can I have your seat? Sir, you sent for you, sir. Yes, I sent for you, actually. There is actually a problem, but I believe God will help us. Let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for today. Lord, we pray that you give us the wisdom to address the issue on ground. And wisdom to handle this matter on ground in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Bro, Gabriel, I received a report from Sister Rosie concerning you. Yes, that you have been disturbing her through chats, trying to have an immoral affair with her. Mm? Even went further to say that you tried to sleep with her. Is this true, Bro Gabriel? How could you say such a thing? How could me? Sister Rosalyn, are you saying it's a lie? Talk to me, Bro Gabriel. Did this truly happen? Bro Gabriel, I called you here for confirmation. Did this happen or not? I need an answer, Bro Gabriel. Did this truly happen? You can say if it's true or not. You have not yet answered my question. Talk to me, Bro Gabriel. Was this true? Oh God, Jesus. Sister Rosalyn, please, can you excuse us? Oh my God. Bro Gabriel, why would you have allowed the devil to bring you down this way? Oh, oh Bro Gabriel, it can't continue. We are part of the prayer team. You shouldn't have done so. You are just wounded at this point, and I don't think it is wise for you to continue in some activities for now. Oh no, bro, Gabriel, you have to have a retreat. It was no intentional, bro, Gabriel. Bro, Gabriel, the deed has been done. You have to seek the face of God. That is why you have to suspend every activity for now in the church. You can come and fellowship, but it's time to see God. You can't be a leader and you are still having many of these issues. It will be a stumbling block to others. You have to suspend everything. It was intentional, sir. I know it may not be intentional, but you gave the devil the ground. It is a temptation of a truth, but you had the power to resist it. Everything has to be suspended. You can't continue in leadership with this. Please, bro, Gabriel, you have to do so. 
I will pray for you shortly, bro, Gabriel. So will I be suspended just because of this? Yes, bro, Gabriel. You have to. Ah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we know that the deed has been done. And we are very sorry for that. Lord, we pray as bro Gabriel observes this retreat, as he stops many of the activities in the leadership just to seek your face, Lord, we pray that you strengthen him, empower him so that he can overcome this sin in Jesus. And that was all. Jesus. That was all, not it. Okay, Bill. There is a problem. Did I hear you say that was all? Is this what you called me to? So I'm so. Ah, Pokey Brain. Pokey Brain, this should not be called me to. Pokey Brain, is this what you called me to? You mean you were chatting with the sister that you want to have sex with her? Pokey Brain, did you call this me to? Have you forgotten who you were? Have you forgotten that he that breaks the edge, the serpent will bite? Pokey Bill, have you forgotten who you were? Pokey Bill, did you see? Did you remember that you don't shake sisters? So, Jesus, if the world has bewitched you, Pokey Bill, who has bewitched you? Why has the devil blindfolded your eyes? Ah! Pokey Bill, who has bewitched you? That you cannot even see what you, you, are, you ought to see. Did you remember that you were the one that helped me to overcome that temptation that Sister Buki was conspiring against me? Pokey Bill, don't you think that the devil is orchestrating something so weird. You don't even see this as anything. You call it little. Okay, but there is a problem. There is a problem. That you even see pastor suspending you as a wicked man. Okay, but there is a miss of somewhere. Until your eyes is opened to see the devil has cast a spell on you. Pokey Bill. Pokey Bill, why don't you awake? Well, I leave all these things now. You don't want to stop this up. Ah. Pokey Bill. It is not over until it is over. Pokey Bill. Why don't you stand on your feet? Have you forgotten how you how you how you are Pokey Brain? A deliverance minister. Casting out casting out demons of lust. Pokey Brain, there is a way out. There is a way out. Did you know that Jesus did not come for the righteous? He came for the sinners and for the backli backsliding. Pokey Bray, we need a second thought. Why don't you sit up? Pokey Bray, have you forgotten the story of David? After David killed that man, did you know why God called him a second to his heart? Because he stood his feet. He put on sackcloth and he cried. Pokey Bell, are you not reading your Bible again? Why don't you take a second thought, Pokey Bell? Jesus still wants you. Did you want to labor in vain? Pokey Bell, if only you will realize your mistake. There is a second chance. Jesus Christ came to this world, even for the sinners. Pokey Bill, why don't you retrace your step? You are like a wounded soldier. A wounded soldier. And what happens to a wounded soldier? He, will, he, 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 he have need to be taken back for treatment. 
If only you will be able to come back to fight. <laughs> but Gabriel, of the truth, the devil has wounded you. But there is need that you that you stab the devil back. You are in a messed up situation. You are in a devastating state. But Gabriel, remember Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Would you continue to sit here? And the way the truth and the life leaves you. Remember how you conducted deliverance. How you led even in the prayer meetings. Remember how you led many to Christ. You need to come back. And pick up your sword. Will you remain in this position of dilapidation? Pokebre. Jesus still wants you. <laughs> the important thing to do now <laughs> is to cry out for mercy. For oh, David. For about those who have lies to Poki Brain, it is possible you reverse it. Poki Brain. Poki Brain. About those that I lied again. Poki Brain, there is a second chance. <laughs> Okay, this is so cool. Imagine when you give your life to Christ. See, be you went for a lot of institutions, and the only cause gave you power. Did you think it will not give you power, even to comfort your fellow brethren? Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Don't allow the devil to be with you. No. Because the Bible said that if we confess our sin, it's able and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of every righteousness. Forgive me. Why don't you put on the boldness? Why don't you cry out, forgive me? I know what to do. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. God will help you. Go back to those who are fled again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go back to those who I lied to. Thank you, Jesus. And amend my way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go back to that, those I have lied to. Jesus. And amend my, my path again. Ah, Jesus. Ah, Nico. Ah, restore your spirit again. Restore your spirit again. Restore, restore. My bro, ah, it has been long ago. How 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 have you been now? You don't got to have everything. Everything is fine. Are you both going out? Yes, I was actually going out. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. There's no problem. Something important that I just that I deem it fit to discuss with you. Now. Oh, please, up, no problem. No worries, sir. No worries, sir. I actually came to apologize for all my past deeds and my mistakes I've made earlier. I think all to my concerning the church and the pastor. I spoke bad about them. I did that out of offense. Ah, I'm very sorry. I just came to apologize because I know God is not happy on what I did. So if you are not happy, I will know. I will let you know God. I'm very, very sorry. I just came to apologize. Please find a place in your heart. Hmm. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. I broke the bread. But was that what, was that what actually happened? I'm very sorry, my brother. I'm very sorry. Should have at least just tell me the truth instead of going and cooking wrong stories for me. No, since the time you told me about the church and the pastor, serious, I've been very restless. There was no more peace in my mind. I had instead of you know, I did. The good news is that I did not tell anybody about what you told me. 
But why did you should have just told me the truth? But instead you were telling me other things just to shell yourself and then put maybe put others in trouble. You know, since the day, the time you told me, I went on my knees and then I put you in prayers. And then I, I prayed to the Lord and let the Lord tell me what is actually wrong. And by the grace of God, I thank God this is the good news here. I kept it to myself, I did not tell anybody. But you know, God is the God that answers prayers. I came to find out that God really is answering my prayer for bringing you here to come and tell me the truth. You know, many believers of today, they are fond of selling themselves instead of just going straight to the point, tell the truth and then shame the devil. But instead they want to shell themselves. Instead they want to they want to find a way to keep themselves safe from the trouble and put it on top of others' head. No, when we say the truth, we say to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Now, as Christians that we are, we let us be fond of shaming the devil. As far as we, when we do this thing, the devil will be ashamed. Let it be. No matter what it may cost us, no matter what it may be, let it be that if we say it, let them beat us. Let them beat us for saying the truth. Let us be beaten for saying the truth. Now, the point is this. I thank God for the kind of person you are. You have realized your fault. And then you have come to amend your ways. And then you have come to amend your mind. Now, you have done well. But no many believers of today, instead of going to amend things, instead of looking for a way to make things right with their coordinators and with their pastors and with the brethren, instead they go about spoiling the minds of people. Please, I understand that you did that out of offense. I, I very much understand that you did that out of anger. Please, but the Lord will love that you take the right step today. Since you are listening to me, the Lord has brought this correction to you. He has heard your cry. He has he decided to have mercy on you by bringing this video to you. Now, the good you will do yourself now is that you just take the necessary steps. Understand it may be it may be difficult for you to go to the right persons to go and amend your ways, but you need to determine. I understand the condition in which you are now. You just need to take boldness and then correct the things you have done. Correct your path, correct your ways. Or if you are in my category and then you have had you have had a wrong news. There's any news that comes to you. Make sure you keep them to yourself. Do not go about sharing it with others. No, others don't need the news. What you have to do is that you pray for the person. Pray for the pastor or the coordinator. Pray for the people that are in the condition. And then you wait. Make sure you don't make any step of taking the matter to anybody. Please, we beg. Please. All you have to do is go down on your knees. Pray, intercede. The prayer works. Pray for the person. Pray that God should sanctify the person and then take away picking up of unfaces from the person. Now, this is how many youths and then their coordinators will do. Instead of going straight to the point to amend their ways, rather they go about spoiling the name of the coordinator because of offense. Rather they go about spoiling the name of, of, of other people. Why? Because of offense. And I pray that even as you have listened and you have decided, God will help us to take every necessary steps in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen.